In question 25, we're told about a type of fruit fly in which the brown body colour allele is dominant to the black body colour allele. So, since we're talking about colour here, I'll give some notation for the genotypes already. So, we're talking about colour, that's C. I'll give a capital C to the brown body colour, since it's dominant, and a lowercase c for the black body colour, because it's recessive. Okay, now that I have that, let's move on. We have a cross between a heterozygous male and female fruit fly, and they produced offspring. So the male and the female are both heterozygous. And we're asked what the ratio is of the maximum number of genotypes in, this off in the offspring and the maximum number of phenotypes in the offspring. So what are the potential genotypes and what are the potential phenotypes? And we can work that out as a ratio. So the best way to do this is to do a genetic cross using a Punnett square. So we have our cross between the mother and the father, and they're told they're both heterozygous, and that means they all have the genotype CC, capital C, lowercase c. So they have a brown allele dominant and a black allele recessive, so they should be expressing as brown, since they have the brown dominant allele. Working through our Punnett square, pairing up each of our alleles, we'll end up with this configuration, and let's tally up the genotypes. So we have a homozygous dominant, a heterozygous, and a homozygous recessive genotype. So we have three different genotypes. Now let's work out the ratio with the phenotypes. How many phenotypes do we have? Well, firstly, we have these three paired together. Since they have a dominant allele, they'll express it. So that's the first allele, which is brown. Sorry, the, the first phenotype, which is brown, and the second phenotype is black, and that's the homozygous recessive form when the recessive is expressed, which only happens when it's homozygous. So we have two different phenotypes and three different genotypes. So the simplest ratio is three to two, and that gives us our answer, which is option C.